once a happy, happy country called Monomania. Monomania was ruled by a laughing fair-haired boy named Teddy the Tenth. Teddy was a happy prince. <laughs> What's so cotton picking funny, your highness? Well, nothing really, but I'm a happy prince, and happy princes have to laugh all the time. It goes with the territory. <laughs> Well, the prince's uncle was a nice enough fellow, but hearing the prince laugh night and day was just too much for him. If I hear one more giggle, I'll flip my wig. <laughs> That's what I tell you. One night, the prince's uncle paid a secret visit to an evil magician. What do you got in the way of a cheap spell? Uh, how about C-A-T, cat? Listen, flannel mount, I want you to cast a spell on Laughing Boy. You mean his highness? That's the one. Now, here's what I want. And by George, he got it! <coughs> For the next morning, when the prince awoke, he was in a damp dungeon cell deep in the castle. And what's more, he wasn't a fair-haired boy anymore. Great gobs of goo. I've turned green. Yes, the wicked magician had turned him into a frog. Well, the prince no longer laughs all day. What's to laugh? And there he stays to this very day, living unhappily ever after. Isn't that a sad story, Fensdorp? It gets me right here in a brisket, Waldo. Well, how did you like it, Hoppity? The Hoppity! Where are you, boy? Well, let's get started. Oh? Huh? Just started for where? Monomania, of course. We gotta rescue that frog prince. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Hoppity. That, that was just a story, a fairy tale. You ever been to Monomania? Well, no, but... Then you don't know for sure. I'm gonna find out. Us frogs have gotta stick together. Hoppity isn't even a real frog. Even temporary members are covered by the union rules. Uh, what union rules? The IBFTSN. The, the IB... The International Brotherhood of Frogs, Toads, Salamanders, and Newts. The uh, Newts? Do you mean like in there's good newts tonight? Fillmore, no newts is good newts. But this is ridiculous, Hoppity. You can't go hopping around the world on a wild goose chase. That's frog. It's a wild frog chase. I'll miss you, Uncle Waldo. You too, Fillmore. Bye. Uh, gee, Waldo, uh, couldn't we just... No, my mind's made up. I'm not going. Nothing could get me out of this trailer. Who is it, Fillmore? Uh, it's a policeman. Hobbity, wait for Uncle Waldo! And uh, me too! And so our three heroes, united in a common effort, made their way uphill and down dale, through thick and through thin. Over the river, and through the woods, until finally... There it is! The uh, grandmother's house? No, Monomania! Hi there, we, uh, we... Yankee, we... go home! Go home? That sign says, welcome to Monomania. You believe everything you read? Uh, better let me do the talking, Hopper, Jim. I can charm the birds off the trees. Uh... <laughs> There they are now. Fillmore, are we gonna let him get away with that? Yeah, well, it, it's his country, Hoppity. But we have passports. Uh, correction, we had passports. Gee, what kind of a TV hero are you? Uh, actually, I'm more of a TV musician. <laughs> That's my bugle! He wrote my bugle! Well, that's better. They sure is. They bent my bugle back into shape. Ah. Well, pick up Uncle Waldo and let's go. Uh, go where? Go back where we came from. It, it may be a little late for that. Yes, at that moment, the squad of troopers raised their rifles and pointed them straight at our friends. Will our story end so quickly? And if so, what do we do for three more episodes? Fake it! Fake it! Our next chapter, if we have one, will be called Let Sleeping Pills Lie or Hoppity Takes a Pouch. Okay, and you can see it later in the show, so stay tuned. Hmm? Well, last time we heard all about Prince Teddy of Monomania, who was turned into a frog and imprisoned by his wicked Uncle Lupo, a treacherous, slimy, double-dealing old scalawag. Old, our hero Hoppity started out to rescue him. As a frog, he's a member in good standing of the International Brotherhood of Frogs, Toads, Salamanders, and Newts. 
Right. Incorporated. Thank you. Local 27. Yes. And now Hoppity and his friends have run into a little difficulty at the Monomanian border. A little difficulty? I'd hate to see what you call real trouble. What'll we do? Quick, Philborg, sound the charge. Hey, the charge? How come, Uncle Waldo? What do you always do when Philmar blows the charge? I put my fingers in my ears. They might too. Blow, Philmar. <laughs> In a trice, our friends were safe behind a nearby hill. Well, I hope you've learned something, Hobbity. I have. Good. Now let's... Never let Fillmore take music lessons. Now wait, you, you don't mean that you're going back. There's a fellow frog in trouble. I just gotta. Yeah, but they won't fall for the same trick twice. Listen, I have an idea. And a short time later, the sentry at the border was surprised to see a small gypsy caravan approach his post. Who goes there? It's Bojo Prisoni, king of the gypsies. You don't know me? But a mustache looks <laughs> familiar, but I can't place the earrings. Who are they? Allow me. This is Stepanit, leader of my gypsy orchestra, and this is Hapiuska, my little gypsy dancer. You sure they're gypsies? But yes, you want to see us sing and dance? And a one, and a two, and a... <laughs> Gypsies played the violin. No, no, no. That was just the A.M.P. Gypsies. This is the new sound. It's called the Romany Riff or Hacha 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 Chornia. Dance, my little Woodland dog. And our friends danced and played right past the sentry's box. <laughs> Unfortunately, Hoppity Hopping was hard on his costume and. Uh oh! Hey! Run for it! You see what I see, Chauncey? Edgar, it's the Frog Prince. He's escaping. After him. And so, when our friends ran past a dark alley. Uh, hey, hey, my God! Uh, yes, Stephanus? Uh, do you hear a kind of a boinging noise behind us? Why, no! That's what I thought! We've lost Hoppity! But I tell you, I'm not the prince! Sure, sure! My name is Hoppity Hooper! Wrong! Your name is Mud! Hoppity was thrown into a dungeon cell. Now, this is too much. Uncle Lupo promised me a duplex cell all to myself and... Saints, wear them in the swamp. It's a frog. Likewise. Welcome, brother. I'm here from the IBFTSM. I don't want any. You don't understand. I've come to get you out of here. How nice. And I'll do it, too, as soon as I figure out one thing. What? How to get out myself. While upstairs in the throne room. At last, my plan has succeeded. What plan, oh mighty one? The king of Pugnatia has agreed for his daughter to marry Prince Teddy. As soon as they're hitched, I can take over boat kingdoms. Aren't you forgetting? The prince looks like a frog. You're the magician. That's your little problem. Supposing I can't turn him back again? That'll be your big problem. Go get him. Gee, supposing the magician gets the wrong frog and tries to turn Hoppity into a handsome prince and... Please! If you want to give away the whole plot... Oh. Well... We'll see if I'm right next time in Father of the Frog or Wedding Bills are breaking up that old dad of mine. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for an important message from our sponsor. Watch. You know, it's a lot of bother being a prince these days. <laughs> for one thing, those crowns are heavy. And being a happy prince is especially bothersome. You have to laugh all day. <laughs> this is very tiring. <laughs> My stomach hurts. <laughs> and besides, other people can't stand it for long. Especially wicked uncle. Now you take Prince Teddy of Monomania. Okay. His wicked uncle had turned him into a frog and put him into a dungeon cell. Laugh that off, Charlie. Ho, ho. But the prince soon had an unexpected visitor. Who 
Who are you? Hoppity Hooper, I came here to rescue you. You're not starting out very well. Well, don't worry, I have friends on the outside. This is the place, Fillmore. Yeah, how do you know, Waldo? Don't you ever pay attention to the first part of the episode? Oh, sorry. Now, give me a hand up. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, the wicked uncle had arranged a marriage between Prince Teddy and the princess of neighboring Pugnacia. Now, as soon as they're spliced, I'm taking over both countries, see? You think she'll marry a prince who looks like a frog? According to this book, princesses are always doing stuff like that there. Now, go get the prince. Now, look, Fillmore, you distract the sentry's attention and I'll sneak past him. Don't okay. say. I'll play my pucal at him. Hi there, Mr. Century. Do you want to hear the chorus of Sugar Blues? Well, if we can't get past the sentry, we'll go over the wall. Ready, Waldo? Ready. Well, if we can't go over the wall, we'll go through it. Give it the old college try, Fillmore. I never went to college. Give it the old PS84 try, then. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. What are you chaps trying to do, anyway? If you must know, we're trying to get into the castle. Why didn't you say so? Come on. And so Waldo and Fillmore did get into the castle, simply by buying a ticket for the guided tour. Now, now, left the castle dungeon, built in 1420. Somehow I feel that we're cheating, Fillmore. Oh, don't feel bad, Waldo. Oh, I didn't say I felt bad. At that moment, Waldo's eyes fell on a small green figure being escorted across the courtyard. Little did he know it was Teddy the Frog Prince. He thought it was... Stop with me! Grab him, Femstorff! And Fillmore seized the unsuspecting prince and dashed out the main gate of the castle. Come back! You haven't seen the main ballroom yet. Well, Princess, here comes your bridegroom. Sire! Sire! Kind of old, isn't he? Your Grace, someone has made off with the Frog Prince. No kidding. Then who's that looking out the dungeon window? I haven't been well lately. Go get him. Actually, as we know, that's not the Frog Prince at all, but our hero, Hoppity Hooper. I don't know how you did it, but don't do it again. Huh? Come on. Where are we going? I'm not going anywhere, but you're going to get married. But I'm not old enough. Oh, yes, you are, Teddy. Your voice is changing. Your voice is changing? It is. You don't sound like Hoppity Hooper. Small wonder I'm not Hoppity Hooper. I'm the Frog Prince. Wait, Hoppity! Well, I imagine right now he's putting on his wedding costume. His, his wedding, wedding costume? costume? Yes. This is one of those unbelievable stories about mistaken identity. Well, we've got to get you back to the castle and swap you for Hoppity. Uh, before he's a child bridegroom. There's only one thing wrong with that idea. What? I don't want to go. And as the minutes tick away, Hoppity comes closer and closer to being married to the Princess of Pugnacia. Don't fail to see our next episode, Hoppity's Bride and Joy, or I'd Rather Be Dead Than Wed. Well, it looks like wedding bells for Hoppity Hooper. He's been mistaken for Teddy, the Frog Prince, and is about to be spliced with the Princess of Pugnacia. You see, it's all part of my wicked scheme to seize control of both countries. <laughs> Ain't I a dirty rat? You can't do this to me. I'm just an American tourist. Don't be silly. You're green. Most American tourists are green. <laughs> a sense of humor. You'll make a wonderful husband. Meanwhile, the real prince was very reluctant to go back to the castle. Have you seen the princess I'm supposed to marry? Uh, but you're a prince. At heart, I'm a frog. That's because you don't know what it's like to be a frog. I'd like to try. It's a deal. Uh, are you sure this is how frogs live? It says right here that frogs love wet, cold, swampy places. Yeah. And they move by hopping from lily pad to lily pad. Want to give it a try? Oh, very well. <laughs> Come on. 
You know, that's harder than it looks. And now for your evening meal. I'll have a jumbo burger medium well and a chocolate malt. Ah, it says here frogs love to eat gnats, mosquitoes, and other insects. Insects? Bleh! Uh, you don't want to be a frog anymore, Teddy. Just call me your highness. And Teddy and our friends started back to the castle, where Hoppity was finally dressed in his wedding suit. Every inch a frog prince. I'm a plain cartoon type frog. Oh, come off it, Teddy. Cartoon type frogs are cute little creatures who hop all around and croak. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Well, we're all set. What's the phony frog doing up there? I have terrible news, your wickedness. He isn't the real phony. He's a phony phony. Hmm. You must have goofed when you cast a spell on him. Well, there's only one thing to do. You mean the trapdoor? Yeah. Frog, stand over there. You, 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 you mean here? Yeah. Okay, pull the switch. <laughs> There's nothing I hate more than a no-talent wizard. Come on, the princess is waiting. But he's right. I'm not a frog prince. I'm just a frog. I know that. You know that. But she doesn't know that. And if you want to stay off tomorrow's menu, you won't say a word. So, a few minutes later, a terrified Hoppity stood alongside his bride-to-be. Do you take this frog to be your husband? Which frog? Sure enough. There were now two frogs on the scene. It's Prince Teddy! <coughs> and Waldo and Fillmore! Hey, charge! <laughs> Guards, gone! Yes, your wickedness, what are your orders? Read that! Obey Prince Teddy and let the other frog and his friends go. This announcement brought to you by the Committee of Happy Endings for Hoppity Hooper. Three cheers for Teddy, the Frog Prince. I'll buy that. Raw, 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 and a tiger. And what about me? I've got a marriage contract here. I'm afraid she's right, Teddy. You have to marry her. I knew there was a catch in it. That's the first happy ending I've seen with such small print. And so they were married. And a wonderful thing happened when the bride kissed the groom. So I am. And I suppose you're going to be a happy prince again and laugh like an idiot all day long. No, you forget, Uncle, I'm married now. I'll never laugh again. Come along, dear. <laughs> well, I guess there's nothing more to say except be with us next time for the further adventures of Hoppity Hooper. This announcement brought to you by the Committee for Ending Hoppity Hooper Episodes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for an important message from our sponsor. Watch. Well, folks, it's... Hoppity, haven't you forgotten something? Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Uh... And now, here are some scenes from our next show. That's the first time I ever had a dinner disappear through a crack in the floor. Well, I guess that does it, Uncle Waldo. Somebody's going to have to go out and find Don't it. Don't say it, Hoppity, not while I'm eating. But you're not eating, and neither is anybody else. One of us has to get a job and go to work. Oh. What happened to him? Uh, he always comes all over queasy when he hears that word, Hoppity. Where am I? What word? Work. Oh. Thank <laughs> you.